Game four of our Slow Girl campaign, Adeptus Custodes versus Space Wolves. This brings us to 1,250 points, and we are slowly adding in new units every time. That, and as we said in the beginning of this, when Forge World releases rules for Adeptus Custodes units they have, I will purchase those, I will paint those, and I will attempt to get them in into this campaign, and I have done that. I'm excited about that. But before I go any further, I feel there's something that needs a little bit of explaining. I had a friend who stopped by today as we're prepping for the game tonight, and he told me that he has an exclusive Adeptus Custodes t-shirt for me. He's a funny guy, so I figured I'd wear it. But uh, with this, I have added the Calidus Grav Tank from Forge World. Now, this is the Forge World beta rules. The beta rules uh, with this, Forge World explicitly says in the beta rules to send feedback emails on how their beta rules are doing. So I ask you, uh, I am going to send, I have my opinion of what it's going to be, but I, I ask you to, in the comment section, uh, let me know what I should send to Forge World regarding their rules. It's a 315 point tank. It's just a single tank for 350 points. Um, it's essentially a Sakaran, it seems like. So we'll see how it goes in the game, but you let me know, I'd appreciate it. Um, I'm adding that. Uh, the Space Wolf player is adding aggressors, some brand new Primaris aggressors, and he's also adding a venerable dreadnought with blizzard shield and frost axe and stuff. We call him Sven because he is his own character. He pretty much just marches across the board and smashes things. So I, uh, I the Space Wolf player was kind enough to allow me to paint him. So I'm very excited because I just finished painting him. Um, we are playing Supply Cache, that's the mission. Supply Cache, uh, you set six objectives on the board, you roll every turn, and if you roll a six, that becomes the only objective on the board, removing all the other ones. So that could be turn one, that could be turn six. We'll see what happens with that. So I'm excited. Thanks for hanging in there with us on this. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Enjoy. So this comes in at 1,247 points for my 1250 point level, again with a patrol detachment, which me leaves me with only one command point left after burning two for Victor of the Blood Games at the start of the game. 1,250 points of a Vanguard detachment of Space Wolves. Take me through it. All right, uh, leading the charge, we have Arjak as the HQ slot. Over in the back left there, we have the Wolfguard Terminators for one of the elite spot. They're kitted variously. They have Thunder Hammer Storm Shields, an Assault Cannon, and then basically Power Swords and a Power Fist round that out. Uh, next elite, we have right in front of them is the Aggressors. Uh, their debut! They, this is their first run at this. I've had them for a while, I've wanted to paint them. Figured we'd do it for the slow grow. The uh, uh, Wolfen over for the next elite slot. Thunderhammer, Storm Shield, uh, Frost Axe, and Frost Claws. 
Fast attack, we have the uh, Thunderwolves. They're kitted the same way they were with the last game, Storm Shields and Frost Weapons. And then the troop slot, we have the uh, Grey Hunters up here in the front with a pa uh, plasma, sor plasma sword? Plasma gun, mm. there we go. A lightsaber. Yep. Uh, combi plas and a power fist. And then the big focal point there that you guys might all see is we lovingly call him Sven, but it's a venerable dreadnought with a great frost axe and a blizzard shield. Mm, he's gonna be fun. And then uh, your heavy support? Yep, heavy support up in the top right there would be the long fangs. Two missiles, two lasts. <laughs> right, that's a lot of 1,250 points. And this is the table after deployment. Um, I put all of my Virtus Praetors right here in this ruins and uh, overlooking that. They're actually scoring objective over there. I, might, I put my Keldus Grav Tank next to my Shield Captain on bike. The only reason I did this is because they just look really good together. Yes. Space Wolves <laughs> over here. Yep. Uh, pretty much just placed them all. In the center, right? Yeah, we got Grey Hunters behind the building, Thunderwolves there, uh, Sven's hanging off on the left, uh, taking the high ground. We have the Long Fangs. And, and they are scoring an objective here. And just real quick, our objectives we have one that you're scoring there. We have one in these crates. We kind of scattered them all over the place. We have one on this building. We have one just across from that with the. Uh, oh, and then we've got one here on the. Statue and then one up there. Yep. All right, and uh, I got turn one. Do you want to attempt to seize? Uh, yeah, I would like to try and seize. All right. Let's see what happens here. Oh. What is that? That is a six. I quit. <laughs> Space Wolves turn one movement. You shuffled the Thunder Wolves over. Sven has moved up yep. a little bit because he's got no shooting. Mm -hmm. You've surrounded this objective just a little bit more. You rolled a die at the beginning of your movement phase and you didn't get a six. Correct. I rolled uh, a three. Rolled a three, so we still don't know where the objective is. You actually shuffled your long fangs, which probably was a good idea to try and prevent, uh, counter prevent my, my deep strike later on. But that is it. Very minimal. You've kept uh, your wolf in, your aggressors, our jack, and your uh, wolf guard terminators all in the teleportarium. So. Yep. Well, that was super quick. Yeah. The only thing that could shoot was the long fangs. They shot the only, uh, let's see, you hit with a last cannon and two cracks. Um, only one crack wounded. And I, against these guys, just had to make a four up either way because of cover and made a five. So, so a lack of shooting, to say the least. All right, coming back, Custodes, turn one. Custodes turn one movement. I jump my bikes up over here to get everybody within range of the long things to shoot. Um, I rolled on this and rolled a three, so that's not the objective. Well, at least this turn. I moved my Caladius back just so I could take a shot down there. He can pretty much hit everything um, over there with a 60 inch range. My shield captain moved up for area denial. And I drop these guys in as well. So, and they are within 24 inches of the Grey Hunters. So this should be interesting. Yeah. Well, if you thought that the Space Wolf Turn 1 shooting was lackluster, welcome to the Custodes. No. The uh, <laughs> very expensive Caladius Grav Tanks shot its very expensive Twin Iliastus Accelerator Cannon. 60 inches, heavy eight, strength eight, minus three AP, D3 wounds all the way into those space puppies and you made all of your three up involves. Yay! Then I shot his twin Lastrum bolt cannon, heavy six, strength six, minus two AP, one damage into him and Sven and failed to wound. Those are some long words. Yay. <laughs> they are out of rapid fire range of them, and they shot everything in the kitchen sink. Did you even have to make an armor save? I forget. There were two ups. I made a couple of them. Yeah, I made a couple two ups. Not a big deal. But these guys arriving, sitting on this objective, actually shot down and killed off. Two dudes. Two dudes, and you had three ups on them and still killed off two. Yeah. Uh, I would really like that with on the Thunder Pups. Don't worry about him. But I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> that is it, and no assaults for me, clearly. So, turn two, Space Wolf. Space Wolf's turn two movement.
Sven, the venerable dreadnought, awoken from his sleep, ran two inches. And move six. <laughs> <laughs> and move six. Uh, they, of course, sat tight this time. They sat tight for area denial. They consolidated on that. And over here, you brought them in from uh, on the hunt, the Wolfen. So they're looking at my Custodius Guard up there. Kind of a gamble, not knowing what the objective is yet, but just really just kind of want to start having something slide. So I'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll check it out. Shoot. Oh, long fangs. Yeah. Depressing. What are we gonna do with you? They're either dead or terrible. <laughs> so they shot in, they wounded with two last cannons into my Virtus Praetors, and then I rolled a four and a five for involves. Yep. So they're good. Nothing has happened. Sven can't shoot, long things can't shoot. So way over here. Great hunters. Two plasma guns and a bolter up into the dudes on the, the little building there. And two plasmas wounded. You made one of them. Uh, the other one got through. Yep. So down a wound. And they can't shoot. Looking at these boys. Yeah, coming into assault. Ah. Well, that couldn't have been more statistically average. It was quick. <laughs> they, I actually made an Overwatch shot and wounded you, but you made a five up. My, your five up, yep. which is so annoying. That was my <laughs> chance to wound them. Uh, but you uh, charged, you made a seven, you needed a nine, uh, but you have a bounding lope, you can re-roll your charge roll, which yep. you did, and you got a six. Yep. They Even moved, worse. They moved less. So they're just sitting there. Yep. Turn two, Custodes. Shield captain. Turn two, wanting to get some. He's moved around mid-board here. Also, the custodian guard going, you know, we could stand up here on our little perch. Yep. Or we could come down and face a wolf and those heretics. They're mutants. Keldus Grav Tank. Staying put because he's got to do something this game. But my Virtus Praetors, I know, we're playing peekaboo. Strategy here. But uh, it is strategy because I came up to shoot them. It didn't work so well. And so I've ducked back down because this guy's pushing out and he's going to mess them up. So they're still in range to shoot him, they're scoring this objective, and they're staying away from him in close combat. Um, I know, I know. It's a four-man bike squad, but we still don't know where the objective is, so I gotta play KG with him. He's an ancient dreadnought. Yeah, and he's ancient and amazing. Pretty. Custodes, turn two shooting, wow. They ain't cork this time. <laughs> um, these guys shot, we're not in rapid fire range, but they shot the uh, venerable dread over here, Sven, and took two wounds off him. Yep. Moving down the board, the real heavy hitter finally. He finally did some stuff. He's arrived on his own, no support from the shield captain. He shot his accelerator cannon all the way over into the long fangs. He yep. put seven wounds on him. You failed five of your five ups yep. and the long things are gone that is devastating it's my, it's my major shooting unit and then the last strum bolt cannon um from him shot into sven at 36 inches strength six minus two ap one damage and chipped one more wound off him he, and you failed your um feel no pains that you have for him or whatever they call it now unyielding ancient right? oh sure unyielding ancient and then over here i shot with them rapid fire and took a wound, and that was it. And then the shield captain also shot up, but you were able to make your saves and feel no pain. So that was it, but that may be enough, turn two, to delete a heavy hitter unit. Well, I made my charge, yep. and uh, we got in there. I killed off three right away, and that was including two normal claw guys and the Thunderhammer Storm Shield. Oh, yeah. However, they get to swing back. And in swinging back, they took off my two guys, but I was able to take off three and put one wound on the sergeant for killing off two of my guys. Uh, that's that's a pretty good trade, in my opinion. So the Thunderhammer killed one, and then the sergeant actually got some with his regular attacks. True. Yeah. And uh, I made a bunch of armor saves on the regular oh, okay. claws. And you whiffed on your axe again. I think that's two games in a row two with that axe. Yep. So um, the they're locked there, but I... I my unit did what they needed to do. The aggressors have outflanked. Oh, they look so good. They're done hunting. Done hunting. 
They've come in. They're looking at the Veritas Praetors. Yep. Sven has... He's the most athletic dreadnought. He run, all he does is run around. All he does is run. He's up on this objective. The Thunderwolves have spaced out a bit. And you brought in... Wolfguard Terminators. Boom, right on that objective. And our Jack here, we're kind of annoyed that the objective hasn't arrived yet. Yeah. So let's get as much stuff down. Turn three, let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh no, you aggressors. They shot in 29 shots into these guys, but two up saves all day. Yep. 18 from their gauntlets, and then I rolled a 3d6 and got eight. 11. So yeah, it just. Really Two up saves, I made some great saves on that. Yep. Um, all the way over here, you actually shot with your uh, Wolfguard Terminators. The Assault Cannon took one wound off of my um, Shield Captain, and then the Storm Bolters took another wound. That's including my reroll yep. for my armor save and including my five up Feel No Pain I have on him. Still took him down two wounds. Yeah. All right, so Space Wolf shooting, and now Assaults. You charged with your wolf guard into my shield captain and failed, but he also failed to wound in overwatch. And over here, we swung it out, yep. and uh, you swung first, yep. um, did nothing, and I killed off your sergeant in return. Correct. And uh, he swung back at what you're, after dying in your death rows or yep. whatever. So and uh, swung twice. Wounded uh, him down to now two wounds. Custodes turn three movement. They've arrived. The Alaris Custodians looking down at these poor Grey Hunters. And I have shuffled back my Keldus Grav Tank and my Shield Captain to buff him. We're sitting over here. And I push these guys, the Vertus Praetors, mid board again. Scoring this objective over there. Uh, at the beginning of the movement, rolled for this one, and I rolled like a two. Virtus Praetor shot up at the Wolfguard Terminators, put a wound up there. The Shield Captain shot at them, did not wound. Uh, well, wound, but you saved. Yeah. Of course, Terminators. But this Caladius Grav Tank, whoo! He's done the heavy lifting for you so far. Talk about an elite hunter. He shot in and finished off down to one guy left. He tanked, that last guy tanked three five-up pinballs. Yeah, he did tank three five-up pinballs. <laughs> the the Storm Shields failed, but he did fine. The Alaris Custodians over here shot in with their grenade launchers and axes and took two of the Grey Hunters off, leaving the Sergeant left. That is it. And now probably a 10-inch charge for them. This is frustrating. Oh. I swung. Did nothing. You swung. Did nothing. Cool. Don't you hit on twos? I tried to. <laughs> I do hit on twos. But the Emperor is not protecting this guy. Attempted to charge over here. Yep. Failed it. You attempted to overwatch over here with a plasma and combi bolter garbage. Failed it. Failed it. Turn four, Space Wolves movement. At the beginning of your movement phase, you roll a die and turns out center of the board. This dude with the pointy fingers power fist. I don't know what he's pointing at, but... He's, he's calling his shots. Yeah. Um, roll a six. That is the objective for the game. So, everything needs to start converging on this poor lad. Yep. Turn uh, four. My oh my, the aggressors are finding out how much PT they've done. Lots of cardio. <laughs> <laughs> Sven also doing the same thing. Most athletic dreadnought in 40k. All he does is run around and look mean. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a biker game. Yeah, he, yeah, pretty much. The Space Wolves have moved up. They did a fantastic movement uh, or advance roll of one. So did Sven. Oh. <laughs> uh, however, our Jack is closing in on my Alaris Custodians and this dude. Yep. Just gunman. hanging out in space. Space Wolves turn four shooting. Arjak threw his hammer into the Lars Custodians, and I failed my invol. And since they're not characters, he puts D3 wounds on them and took an Alaris down to wounds. And your assault cannon. assault cannon on your Terminator here shot in and failed to get through my invol. Space Wolves turn four. 
assault, this is pivotal. Uh, you use your last command point to make Arjax charge. You made it in. You killed off the Alaris Custodian who had two wounds left, which then broke our coherency. I didn't swing back, and I'm allowing this. Mm -hmm. I'm allowing our coherency to be broken. And over here, your axe finally showed up, swung, killed off the last Custodian Guard, and that is it. So this is looking like a very Space Wolf-dominated end of this board. Custodes turn four movement. The Virtus Praetors have moved up mid-board, closing on Sven. The Alaris Custodians have moved forward. <laughs> that poor Grey Hunter. He's so brave. He's having a bad day. And we've got the Shield Captain and the Caldus Grav Tank have shuffled up here. I know, I've got three guys. I can't even target Arjak right now because I've got two other guys to deal with. Yep. So, here we go. Shooting. Custodes turn four shooting. The shield captain shot into the soul uh, Wolfguard Terminator. Yep. Deleted him. Um, poor Arjak is not the closest, so he shot his last from bolt cannon, the strength six, into the Wolfen, killed him off, and then he shot his accelerator Cannon all the way down into Sven, who's no longer there. Took a couple wounds off him, but then, oh my goodness. Yeah. These guys with all their Hurricane Bolter shots took three, the last three saves off, or three wounds off of Sven. It, it was just too much. I had like 20 some saves. To it, yeah, I think it was 19 saves he had to make, yeah. and uh, with yeah. three wounds left and a three up save, even with the six up feel no pain, he died. Um, these guys, the Alaris Custodians, did not do that great. Shot into them with the grenade launchers and with the axes and only took a wound off. But that's it. Uh, that may have been enough killing Sven off for me. I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> Custodes turn for assault. Are you kidding me? They killed that Grey Hunter? Weird. He made some in or not some invuls. No. Some sixes. No. <laughs> And they're now sitting on the objective. Can they do it? Being closed in on by Arjak, being closed in on by the Thunderwolves. We'll see. Yeah. Turn five and a game here. Nate, what is happening? Terrible shooting. Turn five. <laughs> These guys shot everything in the kitchen sink. Like, I'm talking like. 50 some odd, 60 some odd shots. 36 bolters and 21 grenades. Into these guys. One wound. <laughs> there it is, <laughs> one wound. You had to make uh, 15 armor saves and you made 14. Thor. Yep. Our Jack McThorman and son, dude. He threw his hammer. Yep, that that was cool. <laughs> I made my involve. <laughs> That's it. That's it. However, it's still a game because turn five. if you can kill my Alaris Custodians off and okay. I can't get within range of that objective, you, sir, win. Yep. Still a game. I turn can't. five. Kill him. Okay, jumping into this, Arjak swung and I made my involves. But your rider swung back and killed one off and put a wound on the last Alaris. So now I'm just waiting for the dogs. Here we go. Three apiece. So nine attacks from the dogs into them, hitting on threes. We'll be wounded on fives. And That's pretty good. Three rolls of one because, uh, nope, that'd be on the riders. So yeah, those and then needing fours. That would be five at minus one AP. Oh. All right. Well, here I go. Three ups. Okay. Uh oh. No, no, no. Oh my God. That's three ones. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> uh -oh. That kills him out. Holy shit. Uh, okay. G good job, Dice. <laughs> And so, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, I've got quite a turn five coming for me. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Custodes 
turn five movement. Nate, are you kidding me? This is tight. <laughs> Every game. All right, I've got my shield captain who's moved up. My Caledus Grav Tank, or Caledius, stayed put. Um, the bikes came around on the Thunderwolves. This is so tight. The <laughs> shield captain shot into our jack. The Caldas Grav Tank shot into our jack and took him down to a wound. And these Virtus Praetor bikes shot into these three um, Thunderwolves left and took the last guy down to a wound. 17 wounds into him. Duh. Yeah. We are coming down to such a tight. It comes down to assault. Mm -hmm. Turn five. Turn five, Custodes charging in with the Virtus Praetors into the Thunderwolves. Um, that reroll to wound on the charge and your failed three up saves, there's just so many attacks. There's four attacks coming in from each bike. So many attacks. Hitting on twos, we yeah. ended up just clearing them out with the uh, Dawn Eagle jet bikes here. Yeah, and we failed two in balls. So but it was enough. It was enough with all your rerolls and everything. It, it took it, but they they wilted. And then the shield captain swung on our jack and missed with one, hit with four, or wounded with four. And I tanked all four. Tanked it all. Yeah. Uh, you swung back and also failed to wound because I rerolled uh, due to my stratagem at the beginning of the game that I purchased, uh, re-rolled that failed invol I made. So they're just locked, and they are close enough to score that objective. Sir, that is the end of the game. What a slugfest again. Unbelievably tough. I know, Custodes victory, um, closing in, these jet bikes coming through just unhampered. Yeah. Uh, the Caladius, I'm telling you, at the beginning of the game, I was thinking, wow, could he whiff even more? But then he started to not pull any punches. No, no, he rolled well. He's an elite hunter is what we're finding. He, um, uh, he hunted out the wolf guard. He hunted out Sven. He hunted out the long fangs. Just that tank alone. Uh, tell us in the comments uh, what we're going to send to Forge World on what you thought of that tank. As for rules, 315 points. What you thought. Again, amazing yeah. game. Fantastic it, game. Could have gone either way. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Coming back, next game, 1,500 points. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you then. Absolutely.